Hey, how's it going? Retropixel here with a collection video of all my Sega CD games. Um, I really enjoy the console. I don't have an awful lot for it, but I got enough that I think warrants to do an actual little collection video here. So we'll get right onto it. Start this off with the uh, Genesis CDX. This thing is awesome. Love using this thing. It's such a great little piece of hardware. Really, really neat little piece of kit. Alrighty, moving along here. Sega Classics. This has uh, four Genesis titles. Streets of Rage, uh, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, Golden Axe. And Sherlock Holmes, if you're into that. Um, I couldn't get into it at all. I tried. Next up, we have Soul Feast. Honestly... This isn't, I don't hate this one. There's no, sorry, pictures on the back of the screenshots or anything. Um, a lot of people dump on this. I see why, but honestly, it's, I've played worse. This is, it's tolerable for, uh, for a side-scrolling shoot-em-up. Alrighty, the only one that I seem to have so far of the uh, Sega CD 32X combo, uh, Corpse Killer. I am looking for the whole set eventually. Try and make a little bit of room here. Alrighty. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is, well, pretty much exactly what you expect. It's like an FMV uh, playthrough video. It's, let's put it this way. It's pretty trashy, but it's trashy in the best way. It's just pure campy nostalgia-ness. Eternal Champions. This is actually pretty decent. Uh, one of the really decent fighters, actually, for uh, the Sega CD. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is considered a sequel, if uh, I'm not mistaken on that. I could be wrong. But yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty decent uh, little fighter. Let's see, we have a cliffhanger here. Yeah, you can see I sort of swap cases as I need when they... Get better condition ones than other ones. Honestly, never played this. Um, I'm imagining it might be all right, but again, you know, most of these movie tie-ins are pretty crappy. So who knows, maybe someday I'll actually try it. Tomcat Alley, this is actually, I consider this a little bit of a classic. Sort of a, a Sega CD need to own. It's pretty much always dirt cheap. Not great, but not bad. It, it sort of showcases the hardware a little bit, though. NHL 94. This is this is actually really decent. Um, this is an awesome version of NHL 94. If you're a fan of it, uh, this is the version uh, that you need to buy. It's 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 really great. And again, this one's normally always in like the five dollar bin. Star Wars Rebel Assault. I haven't actually had a chance to throw this one in yet, but uh, yeah, hopefully it's decent. Time will tell. Maybe I'll do a live stream of some of these ones that I haven't played before, and uh, we'll experience those together in the future. Alrighty, Dracula Unleashed. I have no interest in this. I probably bought it purely because the case is in really good condition. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I'll ever bother to try this one. It looks like it's another one of those crappy video CD sort of style ones, point and click adventures. Here you go, uh, Slippied or Slippied or whatever, that. Um, I, I'll be honest, I don't love this one, but um, it's okay. Dragon's Lair, this is a classic. Um, I prefer the version on 3DO more, but this one gets the job done. It's actually pretty decent for, uh, for what they tried to do with it. Alrighty, Echo the Dolphin. This one here, uh, the reason why you grab this is mostly because you're getting like the nice CD quality audio, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's Echo the Dolphin, if you're into that game, uh, this is a good way to go about it. And if you want to experience it a little bit more enhanced, then uh, grab the Sega CD version. I know I grabbed this one for like five bucks years ago, and I imagine it's probably maybe still in the same price range. 
Alrighty, Chuck Rock 2, Son of Chuck. Not bad, but I prefer the original Chuck Rock much better. And uh, I don't actually own the uh, first Chuck Rock on Sega CD yet, so that is on my hunt list. Sonic CD, just a classic. There isn't much else to be said about it. Um, just a wonderful game. I thoroughly enjoy this one. Alrighty, Ground Zero Texas. Um, never played, don't know anything about it. Judging by the back, probably another one of those point and click adventure things maybe. Odds are I might not get into this one. Probably bought it because it was cheap. Alrighty, uh, FIFA International Soccer. Not much into the sports games, but uh, yeah, $2.99. That is the original $2.99 that I paid for it because I remember that's the reason why I bought it. Uh, perfect condition case. Uh, I have thrown it in once and it actually doesn't play too bad uh, as much as I'm not a huge soccer fan. This one's all right. At least by my standards, not being a huge soccer fan, I really don't know what to compare it to. Uh, WF Rage in the Cage. And this, uh, I was actually surprised to find out, was a Sega CD exclusive. It didn't actually premiere on anything else. And for its time, when this was released, it actually had the largest playable roster uh, available on a console. So yeah, that one there, if you're a wrestling fan, um, this is one to grab, because it's normally fairly cheap too. Alrighty, the Terminator. This is fantastic. Uh, I love the music, although not all tracks are great. Kind of deviates a little bit later on in the game. Really decent, though. Unfortunately, this one here has skyrocketed in price since I got it. But if you're a Sega CD fan and a Terminator fan, this, this is one to grab if you can find a deal on it. It's pretty decent, though. I recommend looking up footage for this online uh, through other YouTube channels. If this camera can focus, which it probably can't through the glass case. Alrighty, NBA Jam. This, uh, as much as I'm not a sports title fan, like I mentioned, I thoroughly enjoy this. This is a childhood favorite. Unfortunately, this isn't Tournament Edition, which is the one that I grew up with on the Sega CD, so I need to find that eventually in the future someday. Alrighty, Earthroom Gym Special Edition. fan freaking tastic Unfortunately, this one's a little pricey, but this is like one of the best ways to experience Earthroom Gym on a classic console. Just beautiful. Awesome, awesome title. Alrighty, uh, we have uh, Lunar the Silver Star. This is on my backlog for years. I will eventually just say screw it to everything else and just focus on these. But that's the Silver Star and Lunar Eternal Blue. I do plan on doing just a marathon eventually. Maybe this winter I'll just put everything off onto the backlog and just focus on these and just get them out of the way because I really want to experience them. And I do have one more here which I will flip the camera around to in just a moment. All right, and last in my collection here is uh, Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula, sorry. And this is framed not because it's a wonderful title, it's actually pretty trashy, really trashy actually in my opinion. Uh, there's a little bit of a following. I know other people have told me in person that they thought it was a little bit of a marvel for its time. I personally disagree. Uh, but yeah, this is framed because it's what I got into the Guinness Book of World Records for in 2017. So yeah, it deserves a place on the wall because it's got a place in my heart now. Literally just because of that. Anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed. Uh, if these collection videos are something that it, people seem to enjoy, then uh, maybe I'll do more in the future on other consoles. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Catch you next time.